Well, here's the parking lot down at the end of the road just before the start of the walk to the Sunset Cliffs. I'll start off walking here and we'll pick it up a little later. Still walking. Get a nice view of subs, college, abs. There's the park dormitory at the university. Walk down below that to get to below the cliffs. So now we're entering a cool part of the little walk down here. There's college out there. Got to get in a little right. But you walk down through this little tunnel in the foliage, whatever this stuff is. This has changed quite a bit since we surfed here in the 60s. We used to walk up to the left more and then uh, head around the comes a couple of degenerates. <laughs> One of the favorite parts of the walk down here. It spills you out onto the, used to be the girls softball field for the university down here, but the whiz, wise city of San Diego that it wasn't done with a permit, so they took it all back. This was a very joyful place for a lot of girls softball players from all over the West Coast. And there's the university up there. It used to be Cal Western University, now it's Point Loma Nazarene. So again, here's another transition in the walk from the parking lot down to go surfing at the cliffs. Kind of between sets right now. That's abs right out there. This college. Subs up there. This is about five or seven minutes after walking down in the parking lot. We'll walk down here to the left and wind around and walk down the cliff. Up here you can check it out. Kind of see all the way down to 33s, which is another 15 minute walk down that way. There's a new break. Actually, there's a new break right there. There's the abs. And now you turn to the right here and walk down this little crevasse like. And get down to the transition to the beach. get pretty slippery down here. In case you see something with the slightest moisture in it, you got to be careful because you fall right on your keister. So, this is the end of the line. Got to climb down the cliffs here, then turn left, go down to 33s. So this is this transition I just walked down. Sorry, I had to put the camera down. It's kind of a steep climb there. And this is the first point you have to walk around down here. And you just keep on walking for about another eh, 15 minutes and you get down to 33. So here we are at that first point we have to walk around. Many, many times we've surfed down here, starting at low tide, to where the walk around the points no problem at all like this. But quite often we surf for hours at 33, especially in the winter time. We come back, and if it's a good sized swell, it's crashing up against these cliffs. The giant backwash going back out to sea, 
and then the fog will hit. So you're just creeping along through all this uneven coastline and inching your way around this point in the fog, the big swell crashing against the cliffs. Really fun. Here's a guy walking back. No problem at all right now. It's real low tide. New break right out there in Chasms. And a couple of other little no name breaks until we get to 33s. Way beyond that farthest point you can see right there. Used to be a rope hanging from this break in the cliff here. All the new break locals always just come down that way. I always thought it was terribly ridiculous because it was hard to do. But anyway, this is the whole new break beach area, especially starting up in a little way. It's beyond that surface there where all the locals used to hang. This guy looks like he's heading out to new break. That right down there is that point we just walked around. This is the cliff area all the way down to Newbrake. Right in here where this landslide is, it's where all the local Newbrake guys used to hang all the time. This guy's going out of Chaz. On that next point, got to walk another five minutes or ten minutes and get to 33. So here we are at the big point right in front of a break called Chasm kind of between sets here, but Chasms is just a tremendous left, especially when it gets really big. It has this whole bay to stretch out into, and the other side is New Break. This break right here is called Chasms. Several guys out today, so it's kind of breaking, but it's not huge. But I can't emphasize enough how slippery the moss is walking around this point. Rich and Lindy are a good friend, and right out of high school, had a brand new Carl Ekstrom surfboard and slipped on the moss and cracked a rail before he ever got in the water with a brand new board. Probably still has that bad memory. I hope not. <laughs> All these wet spots. Any place it's wet, even if it's a little dry and there's seaweed there, very, very slippery. So there's the big walk we just made. Walking right around this big point. The whole beach stretches out to 33s. Just right out there. So we just made a big walk from almost as far as you can see down there. All the way down these cliffs. This is the end of the line. This is the point right at a break called 33s named after a big number written on the side of a Navy research building up on the top of the cliff. The guy's surfing a little left out there. This is 33. Doesn't look like an epic day here, but it looks like fun. So we'll give it a shot. The tip of Point Loma is probably another half a mile, mile down that way. So this little cove area right in the bluff, right before, right out in front, is the break called 33s. We store, we store our stuff back in there if we have brought any stuff with us. This is my current surfboard. Gonna head right out there to 33s. You gotta walk right out through the several ledges in the reef right out here. And then you hop on your board and paddle out through a little channel out there. Usually it's a pretty easy paddle out. Sometimes not so much.
side just paddled in. Up on the bluff there is a building that used to have a 33 on it. It doesn't have it now. My surfboard decided to float away. Better go to Here's another shot of the cove. Here on the beach, the 33. It's pretty fun out there today. Now I gotta make this long walk back. No problem. I've done it a million times. Now I'm looking south towards Point Loma. Here comes some guys walking down that channel coming down from the college to the cliffs to the beach. I wear abs. Guy up above checking it out. A bunch of college guys. <laughs> 